Last week, we spent a few days diving, exploring and relaxing at some incredible islands called Isoli Trametti off the east coast of Italy. Now we're continuing our journey down the rest of the east coast, or as we like to call it, the back of the boot, stopping at loads of towns along the way. This side of Italy is pretty exposed, so we'll be stopping at marinas and harbours when needed to get protection from the wind and swell, and making our way further south when it's safe to do so, even if we have to motor instead of sail. We were a little nervous about doing this trip in October, when the wind can switch to consistently blowing from the south. Keep watching to see how our plan works out. I'm Janae, and this is Jason. We've embarked on the adventure of a lifetime. We're two ocean-loving Aussies, travelling the world by sailboat and making movies along the way. Tune in every week for new episodes. Enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe. Sailing to a place called Vieste from the Trimetti Islands today. It's about a five, six hour sail, 30 nautical miles, 35 nautical miles. We're about halfway. It's been pretty chill so far. We're sailing downwind. Uh, we've got lots of fishing boats to watch out for, but we seem to have passed a lot of them now, which is good. Um, and we did have a little bit of drama. So we're just motoring along because we've got barely any wind. So we've taken the head sail in. We've still got the main up. There's a million fishing boats around us. And all of a sudden the boat started shuddering. So we quickly turned the motor in neutral. We turned it off and it's it's gone back. We can't see it now, but we just saw after like a couple of minutes, a big like white, what looked like a big piece of plastic or something just drifting back that way. So hopefully that was it and it's gone. Um, but yeah, Jason's going to attempt to get in and just have a quick look. But the problem is we're still going 2.3 knots, so it's faster than what you think. Good luck. It's like fishing that around it. Oh shit, really? Yeah. Is it fully wrapped? Oh have a look. Be careful, please. You right? Did you say it's a knife? Uh, yeah, what kind of knife? A small one? A serrated one. Okay. Oh, God. oh yay, because there's one starting, a fishing boat starting to get close, so I was getting nervous. Oh, you're 14 knots here until we can start sailing. So, yeah, the swell is settling down and the sun's out. So I'm tanning. It's really nice. We have arrived at Viest. Looks really cool. I had no idea what the place is going to be like, but it's all kind of built on cliffs. Looks, reminds me a lot of Greece, heaps of white houses. to set a stern anchor for the second time ever. First time was not successful, but we've learned some tips from some other people. So we're gonna give it another go. Oh, See really? how they go. We should just keep on with this rope. Yeah, because we're in such shallow water. Super shallow. Yeah. We've got a uh, 0.5 under the keel at the moment and it's high tide. <laughs> Changes 0.27, I think. Jeez. Be precise. So we might wake up Either hitting the bottom or very close to it. Very close. We should be okay. It seems to just go like this the whole way through. Oh, we're risky biskies lately, aren't we? I think so. You Venice. just have to be on, just Venice really have to be here. See, we're like really swinging side to side, which is we're not so bad good. when you're like awake, but when you're sleeping, it's horrible. So, right, so this is our stern anchor. 
it is a fortress anchor and then we've got our road here that's uh, weaved onto the chain. All right, Jason's just taking the anchor, chain and road out on the dinghy and he's gonna pull us sideways, which we've already turned. And then what we can do is then tighten it up on the cleat if we need to adjust. Woohoo! Looks like it's worked. We're no longer swinging side to side, we're going up and down, which is definitely better because you don't roll around the bed. And we're only going up and down slightly, whereas when you're side on, the smallest amount of roll makes you roll, so. Woohoo! That definitely helps with a shiny new tender with 20 on the back. <laughs> Made the job a lot easier. Just going for a little stroll on the beach. Look at this thing. Ooh. Random, hey. Can you spot Jason? That's just to show you how big it is in comparison to a person. up our diesel it's very handy there's our boat there's our tender there's the petrol station so we're walking the streets tonight where we're gonna try something called a panzerotti we shall see what it tastes like pretty busy little takeaway place all right this is what she looks like so you're gonna try and break it you open. You calling your food to shave? <laughs> <laughs> break yeah, it open. Shitty bite. Try and tear it in half. Oh, it's hot. Did I mention it's hot? Oh. <laughs> so we broke it open. It's like a marinara sauce with cheese all melted inside it. Kind of like a margarita pizza in a different way. Yummy? But the dough's different. Yeah. More crunchy. Fried. He's on. <laughs> yeah. Probably a piece of plastic or something. <laughs> I haven't talked on here this morning, but we left at like 3 a.m. because it was so rolly in our anchorage that we couldn't sleep anyway. And we had a big trip today of like 10, 12 hours. So uh, Jason decided to pick up the stern anchor and get going. So. Um, once we got going, I ended up going back to sleep till like 7am and then Jason's been having a nap to make up for last night and now there is a fish. So I had to wake him up because the rod went off. He decided to chuck him back. Couldn't be bothered. Are they fishing for the big ones now? No, you made me feel cruel. I felt bad. No, you feel bad. Like His little, like, little wing at the top just went, oh. That's like, that's probably, you know, it's the 30 bucks. My like meal. Happy anniversary. Hey, we've got pizza. We've got chicken snitties. off and cloudy and like misty ahead of us we can barely see anything it's almost like fog ahead of us we can't see any land even though we're really not that far away but still we'd rather this than bad swell and hectic wind so we're actually going into a marina for probably two nights to get some protection from the wind because in Bari, where we're going, there's no protected anchorages and it's really exposed, so. But that's okay because it's our anniversary today. So we get to treat ourselves. We treated ourselves to a long sail, so. Yeah. We, we treated ourselves to a long sail. Yeah. A long motor. 
<laughs> it's um, a little bit cheaper at this time of year anyway because we're out of season, so it's not so bad. I'm gonna ring around because there's like five or six places to pick from. So I'm gonna ring around and see what prices they'll give us. We made it into the marina. Shock, it was probably my worst park ever. He didn't do anything wrong, it was just like a bit of a Tight go spot. in, go in and then just kind of like didn't really make it all the way. So, but they pulled us in. They were really helpful. The guy talks really good English, which is nice because um, yeah, it's kind of hard here. <laughs> We're trying to learn a bit of Italian, but. All we know is ciao. Ciao, gracias. Bon, 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 We know a few other ones, but we forget them. Il conto, pa favore. That's, can I have the bill please? Um, yeah, so they have a, there's a golden retriever. They have a free shuttle bus here that goes into town from this area, from all the marinas every 20 minutes I think so we'll go check out town later um, maybe have lunch first and yeah just enjoy while we're at the marina we don't have much jobs to do this time so we can actually enjoy ourselves yeah the boat just probably needs a rinse down that's about it hey repose when we leave or something yeah that's fill the it, tanks really. up that's it yeah it's good every time we go to marinas it's always to do it's, jobs it's like more tiring than staying out on anchor. Yeah, it, it is. There's a lot to do. Because and usually we'll try and stay the least amount possible. So like one night, maybe two, and we'll get everything done, won't we? All in one. Yeah. So yeah, we, we enjoyed it in Venice, and we're going to enjoy it here. It's our anniversary today, so good excuse. Yeah. Hello. We have a friend at the marina. Two friends. The other one's a German. What you doing? You're cutie! Hey! Hello! Hey! We're just walking to get some groceries this morning. For the first time walking, because we normally have the scooters, but one of them's broken. And we had quite a bit of rain last night. More than we actually realised by the looks of it. I'm not going to lie, this place is pretty gross. We're in a place called Bari, on the east coast of Italy. And this isn't even the bad area of rubbish like some parts of the side of the road were just like thousands of bottles and plastic and they obviously don't have a, like a community service thing you know when prisoners get locked up and they do the oh yeah like, clean up the area. rubbish yeah they should bloody start doing it it's disgusting i don't know what's happened if it's like somehow washed up here out of drains or like i don't know if people just litter here just to show you anyway that not everywhere we go is glamorous. Some places are really ugly and dirty. So Italy seems to have a massive meat selection. It's never ending. And it's so cheap for like pancetta, prosciutto. Yeah. All here, that's probably why there's so much of it. Mm -hmm. Yum. This is a little, so it's not like all the super local stuff, but look at all the pasta. And it's like quite cheap, like you can get one euro for a packet of ravioli. I'm in heaven, seriously. I don't eat seafood, but this is pretty cool. You can just like dish up your own frozen seafood, which a lot of people put these in their pasta. Like octopus, mussels, and then you just weigh it. Really cool. More fresh pasta, olives, in heaven. I'm gonna get fat in this place. So we've made it to the old town of Bari and it's a, it's a little bit different to what I expected. I had high hopes at the start. It seems there's a lot of sketchy people walking around, but now we've just walked into this, which is super amazing. Yeah, look at this. Um, we got the shuttle in, a free shuttle from our marina area. Dropped right at town, pretty much. And it's a walk around the corner, it's perfect. Yeah. So hopefully we can get it home, we've got to check what time they finish, but... They said they not, go every 20 minutes, that's all we've heard. Yeah. If not, it's not far for a taxi, is it? Hello! No. Well, I think it might be afternoon now. We're just on our way from 
Bari to Monopoly. We're having trouble with our um, position fix on our charts. So Jason's had a little Google and apparently it could be the little battery inside this thing that he's working on. So we may have a battery that fits it. If not, we'll have to find one um, when we get into Monopoly, I guess. So but yeah, fingers crossed that that's the battery size and that it works because it's really annoying. Um, when it loses the position, it just beeps like crazy and you can't click to acknowledge it, so it just keeps going until it finds it. Um, and it was going for like a good 15 minutes, so driving is insane. There's Bari in the background. It's a huge city. Also, there's a beach um, just north of Monopoly called, called Polignano Amare that I really want to see. I've had it on my list um, of places down the east coast of Italy to see. Um, and yeah, we've got fairly perfect weather at this time of year for it. It's nice and sunny, there's not much wind, and hopefully this swell will drop by the time we get there and we might be able to stop in for a couple of hours. I don't think it's suitable to anchor for the night at. We might be able to stop in for a swim and a sunbake and check out the beach. It's got like cliffs kind of on either side of it. It's like one of those typical Italian beaches with the cliffs. I think it's got like a bridge at the back of it. Um, people do cliff jumping. There's like a cave that people take their boats in with. So yeah, it'd be cool to see it. Not a bad view from here to be honest. You're out there, darling. Yeah. Enjoying life. Yeah. Enjoying the little bit of warmish weather we have left. What about the sea sites? It's pretty wild, eh? It's rolly, but at least it's smooth. Yeah. It's uh, it's probably about a meter. It's quite smooth, to be honest. It's not crazy. We got the sails out to kind of um, lean us to one side, so it's comfortable. Of a strange dream, a dream. <laughs> We've just called what's his name? The Coast Guard? Yeah, the Coast Guard for the town key. And so you can stay for free in transit, so just for like the night or 24 hours. But um, someone has to be on the boat at all times, which means we can't go and explore, unfortunately. But the plan is to go, so we have to leave at eight o'clock in the morning because I've got some other like something happening there. Um, so we're gonna go and visit that beach that I was talking about earlier tomorrow now. So that'd be perfect because the spell's supposed to die off and then we'll go and anchor back in Monopoly for the night um, before we make our way south the next day so we can explore tomorrow night. So, so, as well. so there's an anchorage just outside of Monopoly but you've got to have perfect conditions to anchor out there which by the predict wind and windy is saying it should be pretty nice, so. There's Escapade. I'm just walking to go and check us in, because um, you've just got to go and show them your documents. And someone has to be on the boat at all times, so. Looks like me going by myself for the first time. Wish me luck. We all checked in, it was super easy. It was really cruisy. Um, I just had to fill out a form with all of the information on it, but you didn't even actually check boat documents or our passport. So um, yeah, and super friendly as well. And then I came back here and Jason said that I actually saw him walking out as I walked in and um, he actually came over here with the car. So. We're kind of lucky that one of us stayed on the boat and probably all like got in their good books by calling first and asking. So, yeah, but yeah. they loved us. <laughs> he did make a point of someone always has to be on the boat, so maybe we won't risk that tonight. We can uh, maybe just go for a little stroll by ourselves each, and then we'll come back here tomorrow night and check it out. Yeah. For now, we're enjoying a little drink 
little afternoon aperitif. I was actually thinking we should get the uh, prosciutto and that out, have a little snack board. Oh, look at you guys. <laughs> So many antennas. Kind of reminds me of Greasy with the white buildings. Same as Viest. I'm liking it. So pretty. in the morning we're getting told to leave yeah, bright and early yeah they're leaving because they're having like a kids fishing competition or something along here so that's all right it's nice sunny calm weather so we are off to polignano amare there's definitely some wind i can see that flag on. oh yeah Monopoly, we shall see you later today. Definitely looks flat. Good thing. Yeah, it looks amazing. Look at that. Oh, this is a nice thing about being forced to leave at seven, eight o'clock in the morning. Normally we leave early when we have to because the weather's gonna get shit or we've got a massive passage ahead of us. <laughs> so we had some locals come on the boat last night and they recommended to go through these caves that are near that beach, beach. that you really wanted to go to. Yeah, so. some grottos. So we're gonna do that today. Should be pretty exciting. Yeah. Go to the beach, go explore the little town. Got plenty to do. And then come back here and explore this town. We didn't really get to do that last night together. So we're going to anchor over there tonight. That's the plan. We just found the restaurant in the cave on the side of the water that you see all over Instagram. There might be a couple of them, but oh, amazing. Look at this place. The, the weather gods have been so nice to us today. We've got literally, the only time you can come here is if it is no wind and no swell. And we have got- we have both today and we, we do. We've got a clear, clear sky. When the sun gets a little bit higher, it'll be beautiful. I feel like the view of this area is actually nicer from here than the beach anyway. Like this looks amazing. And then that restaurant over there, like is just to die for. I have the biggest FOMO ever right now. I really want to go there. It's probably like off its head that's expensive. Like my dream. Like I see that stuff on Instagram. That's literally my dream to go somewhere like that for dinner. Yeah, it would be expensive and it's probably fully booked like bloody months in advance. Alright, we're just going to visit the caves now. It's getting busy. There's quite a few boats. Hanging around now. Shock a block today. There's probably going to be a bit of wake in there, but there's quite a few, so we're very lucky we can just do it in our own boat. Look at that, it's insane. Oh my god. It's literally a dream. Yeah, because they'd be open for lunch as well. 
Wow. One day, hey? So cool. Oh my god, it's the other side of the restaurant. You're kidding. One of the most beautiful places we've been in Italy. Very unexpected as well. Hey, like down the east coast, a lot of people don't travel down this way by boat. There's Escapade. Monopoly. Little sunset sail. Should be nice. 